Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. To raise your pool pH levels, try adding in sodium carbonate, aka soda ash. Make sure that you don't add any more than 2 pounds of soda ash per 10,000 gallons of water per treatment. When adding in the soda ash, start adding from the deep end of your pool and work your way up to the shallow end. Let's help you make your mark. When you shock a pool, you test and adjust the pH level for a reason. With that said, if you shock a pool outside of the 7.2 to 7.4 Pico Henry's range, not only will you waste a significant amount of the chlorine used, you will also end up with cloudy water. Take our lead. Shocking the pool will lower the pH, whether you use chlorine-based shock, calcium hypochlorite, or the non-chlorine kind, potassium peroxymonosulfate. Rain picks up impurities in the air, raising the rainwater acidity and lowers the pH. Outdoor pools, even ones with pool covers, tend to get some rainwater in them. Make your mark, take our lead. In most cases, low pH levels are caused by natural factors like a heavy rainstorm, overuse, and improper use of chemicals. pH levels might also be low after a large party. Dissolved bodily fluids can lower pH levels, so if you have had a lot of swimmers in your pool recently, overuse could be the culprit. Make your mark, take our lead. In most cases, low pH levels are caused by natural factors like a heavy rainstorm, overuse, and improper use of chemicals. A substantial amount of rainfall can alter the pH of pool water to become more acidic. pH levels might also be low after a large party. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.